School districts in Oregon will work directly with local public health departments in the event that a staff member or student tests positive for COVID-19 or are presumed to have it because of symptoms and if they've had contact with someone who has the virus. The state released this 44-page toolkit guidelines to help districts determine what to do in many different scenarios. But the districts I've seen seem to have protocols in place that look pretty similar. My name is Jody Peterson, and I am the nurse coordinator of our district health authority. So Basically, Peterson is the head nurse for Salem-Kaiser Public Schools, which just started hybrid learning for about 4,300 kindergarten through first graders. Peterson says if there is a student who tests positive for COVID-19 or has symptoms, they'll be removed from the classroom, put in a separate room with another staff member, and parents are called for pickup. We look at close prolonged contacts or cohorts, like we even do, like, are they in athletics? The district's COVID response team then works to notify parents of students who may have been exposed and then notifies the county's public health department. Their responsibility is to report to us if they hear of a case. Beth Appert is with the Multnomah County Public Health Department and works with schools if there's a COVID case. We ask for a list of that cohort and we then can keep track if any new cases arise. Um, from that cohort. A typical classroom cohort, it's probably between 15 and 20. Could be as low as uh, 10 to 15, and then you have the buses. Carol Kinch, Director of Student Services in the Tiger Tualatin School District, says with state guidelines, it's likely all students in a cohort would quarantine before being allowed back. It's 10 days since, since their first symptom and uh, 24 hours fever-free fever without uh, ibuprofen or fear reducing medication and no, no more symptoms or they could get a negative COVID test. Students affected would switch to distance learning and the district would notify families in the school district. Specific details won't be included like the child's name. One thing that's true for districts across the board, they want to make sure that families make sure children are healthy and not having any symptoms before they come to school. So making sure to check for things like a fever, cough, or difficulty breathing. Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.